Extra time, it starts, and the drama, I think, is going to continue here. That's a wonderful tackle. Johansson. And it will be their throw. Out of play for a throw. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. And they're trying to dispossess him. He went in well. Neatly intercepted. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. <laughs> Two more minutes to play of added time. It's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. A bit predictable with the passing and the open. And that's uh, the end of the first half of extra time. we go into the second period of extra time good reading of the play by the defender oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out again good position for the cross they've got the ball in that wide area there via the interception we're around halfway through the second period of extra time seven minutes left well the ball's been deflected out so it'll be a throw in Kieran Gibbs well with five minutes to go this is a chance for someone to make him a hero otherwise it's down to penalties now they're looking to get forward from this position. And that'll be a throw. Egazi. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Room for the cross. He's awarded the free kick. Well, here at the Hawthorns, the highest ground in the Premier League and the highest level of support at the moment, they could claim the West Brom supporters. Yeah, the baggies are boing boinging out there today. The referee the players has indicated that place be a another two, two minutes, minutes added on by the referee. I think he saw the look from the other player and. So there we are, it's all level still, and the match will be decided from the penalty spot, it's a shootout.